We have to remember that the case is not about whether or not she stole the watch. It's about whether or not he, um, Golden accused or whether or not Golden was trying to take business away from her or what, whether or not what his actions took business away from her and left her financially unstable. And in my opinion, he, he intentionally said, I wouldn't use her. So he took business away from her, putting her in a worse position financially. And that's what the problem of the case is. This is a case about how we perceive things. I don't think it's really a case about who's accusing Q for what and they rebutting all the accusations. I think it's really just about how we take things as human beings and then how we act upon those emotions. And so that's why I was undecided. I don't think that all those things could come out to a nice, even answer. How Miss Wade had to go to Mr. Gold, Golden's house, like how he would react if he had to go to where Miss Wade lived. Or like, you know what I mean? Like it all plays like a different role in how the conversation would go. How would the conversation be different, Mr. Like, Golden? since Mr. Golden is going to like a less rich, more like African American community, he might feel the same way how Miss Wade felt, like how she was discriminated against when she went there. And if Mr. Golden came to where Miss Wade was, the African American people would look at him <coughs> the same way as the white people looked at her. Why do you think this play works? Why do you think it, the audience seemed into it? There were a lot of questions and comments afterwards. I saw a lot of you guys uh, getting into the testimony, things like that. So do you guys just want to tell us why you think this play worked for you? You want to go first? Um, yeah, I think it worked for like a lot of people because there were issues about race, class, and religion, which is something that a lot of people feel strongly about in different ways. So everybody has like an opinion on what's going on. It's not just like, oh, this is happening, whatever. It's like you're engaged in it. So you think these are issues that, in general, kids are interested in and want to talk about? Yeah. Do you find that to be true? Do you want to talk about why it worked for you? Um, yeah, pretty much because there's all these, like, controversies that don't have, like, one specific, like, answer. And everybody feels, like, so differently about them that, like, it can really, like, affect a person's <coughs> judgment. And especially because now that we're becoming older and I have to, like, realize these things, and, like, some of us soon are going to, like, be able to vote. Like, we're gonna have to, like, realize, like, what defines, like, what makes us who we are and, like, how these things affect our judgment. Absolutely, right? I think that it's something that, it's a gray area. It's, there's no right answer, and that sort of makes it more compelling because you can argue and discuss it. Is Mr. Golden prejudiced for wanting to live in a mostly or all white community? Is Miss Wade prejudiced or uh, racist for wanting to live in an almost all exclusively black community? What do you guys think about that idea? Oriana? Um, I don't think that they're prejudiced, but I think that they live there because they feel more welcome and comfortable, and it's what they grew up with. And I think anybody would, <clears throat> I think anybody <coughs> would want to be comfortable and be themselves instead of being looked at like in a weird way. So that's why they live in. It's natural. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I don't think it really matters where you decide to live because you might have a community which is completely white and they don't really care about other races, but then you might also have a community like in Skokie where there are different people, different races, but there still might be people who are racist. So even in diverse communities there's issues yeah. with race and maybe in uh, you know homogenous communities you, you have people who are open-minded or something.